something you've bought online. Last week, I bought a coffee machine online. I have a positive opinion about it for many reasons. I bought it as a present from my parents. I saw it on a website on the internet. Its price was not expensive. I asked the company to deliver it. The delivery didn't take a long time. They deliver it after one day. When my parents saw it, they were happy with it. It looked great and was not broken. When they began to use it, it was easy to use. It made delicious coffee. Finally, I advise all of you to buy this machine from the same company because I think they are honest people and their products are good. Egyptian handicrafts. In fact, Egypt has a long history of making beautiful handicrafts. They can be carpets, baskets and colorful pots. It can be made from wood, leather or wool. They can be decorated with colorful things. Some people like them to be traditional and others like them to be modern. I need to buy some handicrafts from the shops and markets in my area. The south of Egypt is famous for its beautiful handicrafts. People who live here sell carpets, baskets and colorful pots. Some women in a village near Aswan also make beautiful handicrafts from the leaves of trees. In other parts of Egypt, people make handicrafts from wood and leather. These handicrafts are very popular with tourists and help the Egyptians to earn money. A biography about a role model, sportsman. A biography about a role model, sportsman. Mohamed Salah is my favorite sports star. He was born in a village in Arbia. Mohamed Salah is 1.75 meters tall. He is polite and hardworking. Mohamed Salah has usually got a big smile. He has played for many teams. He also plays for the Egyptian national team. He scored many goals for our national team. He played for Fiorentina and Roma in Italy. Now. He plays for Liverpool in England and scored many goals. Liverpool is a very good team. I like the way in which they play. Players are so active and present great shows and good results. That happened after Sellers joining them. Samar Abdul Fattah has always been interested in space. As a young child, she wanted to be an astronaut. After she finished school, she went to Cairo University to study space engineering. While Samar was at university, a space technology company had a competition. Students had to design a Hyperloop, a new, very fast form of transport that travels above the ground. Samar decided to enter the competition and asked other engineering students from the university to join her team. Samar traveled to the USA to receive the award. Three years later, Samar started her own company. Now she is a space engineer and a business person. She also gives speeches to other young engineers to help them achieve their goals. Helping people in my community. I think our community is a part of our life and it is a must to cooperate for it and for solving the problems it suffers from. At my school. There are some students who have disabilities at different parts of their bodies. Some can't move, while others can't see well. I thought and thought about them and at last I had an idea for helping them. I went to the school headmaster and suggested a way to lighten the burdens of them and their parents for coming at school. I suggested all students in all classes at school should donate money for building a special area for them and making special roads without stairs for them. The headmaster welcomed my idea and thanked me and promised that he will work for it. Types of transport. Transport is very important in our life. It makes our life easier and more comfortable. It also makes our life faster. I love traveling by train because it's interesting to look out of the window. In one journey, you can see ferries crossing the Nile, green valleys, peaceful villages and busy cities. Trains are often fast and comfortable too. Egypt has the oldest railway in Africa. More than 800 million passengers travel by train in Egypt every year on 5,000 kilometers of railway. Lots of people in Alexandria use the tram to travel around the city. It's a great way to travel.
It's easy to use and it isn't expensive. Trams are electric, so they are better for the environment than other types of transport. You can use buses, taxis and the underground. A visit to the pyramids. Last week, our school went on a trip to the pyramids. It was my first time to visit and see the pyramids. I spent a very beautiful day there. I enjoyed riding a camel and a horse. There were a lot of tourists from all over the world. I spoke with them in English. Our great ancient Egyptians were really great builders and engineers. I knew that they built the pyramids at first as tombs for themselves. I'd like to invite you to come to Giza and visit them. Really, you will enjoy and learn a lot of things. It was a nice day. Online shopping. We all know that shopping online is very useful because it has many advantages. It saves time and money. You buy what you want without moving. However, my opinion about that changed when I decided to buy a present online. I visited websites for electronics until I found this website. I ordered a toaster as a present from my mother on her birthday. The website said the delivery would be in two days, but the delivery arrived in two weeks. I opened the box and put it in the kitchen. It looked great and good, but when I plugged it in, it made smoke then a fire. That was terrible. At once I called them and asked them, I want to send it back. They were kind and they were sorry. After two days, a new toaster arrived. It was really great in the kitchen. My mom was very happy with it. A review of the city where you like. Ismailia. A review of the city where you like Ismailia. I live in Ismailia which is between Port Said and Suez. Ismailia is beautiful. There are attractive buildings, interesting monuments and lots of gardens. Around 350,000 people live here. Ismailia is peaceful, but it isn't boring. There are lots of things to do here, especially at the weekends. On Friday afternoons, I often go to Lake Timsa, which is near the city, with my family. On Saturday mornings, I have tennis lessons at the sports center at 9 a.m. Sometimes I go swimming in the afternoon with my friend Said. There are some interesting museums. My favorite is the Natural Science Museum because I'm interested in animals. It's a good place to go at the weekend. The Decent Life Initiative The Decent Life Initiative is an exciting plan that is really making a difference to about 32 million people who live in rural areas in Egypt. The initiative aims to improve the quality of public services. It provides more health care, better education and better job opportunities. Since 2019, the Decent Life Initiative has helped people in 377 villages to have clean water. It has also helped to repair their houses and it has sent doctors to the villages to deliver medicine and help people who are ill. It has also improved facilities for disabled people and is helping more children to have a better education by building schools in the villages. The Decent Life Initiative will continue to help people in poor neighborhoods around the country. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Goodbye.